Our community was horrified by the hateful, uninformed statements made by the Oakland Education Association on its social media pages and in its council's resolution against Israel. The AJC stands firmly with those members of the OEA who oppose the dangerous, misleading rhetoric in these statements. In its October 31 statement, the OEA said that there is no place in the community for anti-Semitism. Yet at the same time, it dismisses the state of Israel as an illegal military occupation. This amounts to a denial of Israel's right to exist and the right of Jewish people to self-determination in their ancestral homeland. We unequivocally denounce this anti-Semitic trope. No one, let alone a union whose members are devoted to educating young people, should condone such language. Given the virulent anti-Zionism underlying the OEA's recent statements, such as the spurious claim that Israel is an apartheid state, we must wholeheartedly stand with the members of the OEA that are fighting their leadership to keep such obvious bias out of the classroom. These teachers are fighting an uphill battle in their union to prevent Oakland students from being fed a one-sided worldview that is anti-Israel and inevitably anti-Jewish. Oakland children deserve an education, not indoctrination. The OEA leadership... The OEA leadership issued these statements and resolution without the input of most of its organization's members. Given the community's reaction, I feel confident in saying that the OEA representative council do not truly speak for Oakland's teachers. That the leadership issued these statements in such a non-transparent way speaks volumes. If the union is willing to engage in a constructive dialogue about the Israel-Hamas war, AJC stands ready. I think you'd find we have more in common than not. And if the union is truly committed to rejecting anti-Semitism, a great way to start would be by ending its demonization of Israel and showing empathy for the 1,400 people slaughtered by Hamas and the hundreds still kept, still kept hostage by this terrorist group. Thank you very much.